One of the first things we need to cover in making any movie is orienting the viewer. The first rule we can look at is the 180 degree rule. Once you establish a scene and show where people are, you've also established the 180 degree rule. From this master shot, we've established that the woman is on the right and the man is on the left. That means that whenever we show them, he should be on the left and she should be on the right side. From the overhead, we can show that as soon as we place them for the camera, the placement of the camera can only go anywhere on this side of the line, meaning 180 degrees on this line. We can aim the camera in any direction, but it must be on this side of the line. Now even though from overhead we can clearly see where the actors are, it's not as clear from what the camera sees. If we break the 180 degree rule and place one camera here and the other camera over here, the camera view shows the actors facing the same direction. Even when the angles are not as blatantly off, it can be disorienting because the actors' eye lines won't match. Now, you can cross the 180 degree line, but you have to show the camera move, like so. Not only do you have to shoot this movement of crossing the line, but you also have to use it in the edit. That way you orient the viewer. Once you're on the other side of the line, you have to stay on it, unless you move the camera back to the other side. Remember, the camera is the viewer in the scene. They're a non-active participant in everything that's going on. They only see what you show them.